Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, ladies and gentlemen and all viewers. Welcome back to our program podcast. Podcast and discuss with us. Okay. Uh, my name is Siti Sarida along with my friend. I am Happy Zudin. Okay, how are you today? I'm fine. How about you? Yeah, Siti so far so good. So, uh, we also have a guest star here. He is our beloved lecturer. And I think he is my inspiring. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Wait, Mr. Dedy Sulaiman. Mr. Dedy Sulaiman. How are you, Mr. Dedy? I am great, thank you. Okay. What about you, ladies? I'm good. Okay. Okay. Um, you look so fresh energy. Yeah, energy. I have, and we have, uh, because we are teachers here. We have to energize students. So we have to be cheerful. That is our uh, obligation. Okay. So when you are facing your students, whether you are in sad condition, <laughs> we are in not a good mood, but uh, you have to energize yourself. Okay. Yeah. Great. So I see you that you effort to do uh, what's that? Give a best service and mm. do professional. For example, like um, last week you still told us, even though you were on the train. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you, you know, know, in the first meeting, uh, I was in Tangerang because Tangerang. I had to to be inaugurated in Pradita University. Okay. The second one is in Malan. <laughs> yeah. and, it's so uh, hard for you. Yeah, that yeah, is my Maybe baby. it's so hard for several people, but you did it. Mm -hmm. So it's great. I think uh, I have to suggest you uh, that this is our obligation. Uh, it That's depends right. uh, on our intention. Like uh, what I said like uh, in Ramadan, if we are fasting, our goal is to eat in Maghrib. That's our goal. So, whatever uh, our activities, uh, how many business we have, we have to uh, give my time, our time to our obligations. Do you have any comment? No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not okay. comment, but just do it. Okay, actually, uh, in this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, we have a topic that we'll but discuss. But I think before we going to our topic, have to remind our audience. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like, and share our channel <laughs> podcast. Okay. Thank you. And once again, don't forget to turn on the bell in order to get the notification when you when we upload the, the new videos. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, Go ahead. what is our topic today? Okay, our topic today is about satisfying pedagogical practice mm. uh, use ICT. Mm. Actually, sir, this is based on the research mm. uh, we might call it uh, SIT. Yes, yeah, mm. 2000 and see. So, okay, in Europe, uh, there is an international organization, mm. namely the International Association for the Evaluation of Educational Achievement. So, IEA, IEA. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we can see here that uh, the executive of director is Dr. Hans Weinmaker, and the secretariat is Amsterdam and in Netherlands and then this organization has a research study one of them uh, SITES hmm. uh, or uh, there is a rename to be T-I-M-S-S uh, -S -S. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and uh, this research study uh, focuses on uh, science and math, uh, math subject hmm. Science and math subject. Math subject. Uh, this is a language learners. You are language learners. Yeah. Okay. I am language teachers. But this is science and mathematics. Do you like science and mathematics? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> but we are talking about yeah. this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But actually, when we talk about IST, it means we talk about science. Right? Yeah, actually. Mm. Okay, this organization mm. has 50 years of uh, conduct comparative research, study mm. focusing on educational policy practice and outcome in more than 50 countries around the world. More than 50 yeah, countries. Yeah, so because uh, so many participants, mm. uh, uh, they conduct comparative research. Mm. Okay. So, the next slide. Okay, I'm interested uh, with uh, Mark Mason's statement. Mm. He is uh, editor and director of Comparative Education Research Center in the University of Hong Kong. So, mm. so in his statement that uh, he had put a quote from Dutton, Hmm. 2004. He said that we all have a role in development. Hmm. So everyone have a change uh, to clear, to make uh, something new. Hmm. Yeah, with new environment like uh, no days. Hmm. Yeah. So in the in his statement that uh, it may be impossible to change our uh, 19 and 20th century education system to serve new generation equitably, but we must try to do so. Lifelong learning and connected and are essential addition to education design for the 21st century. Okay. So maybe for uh, in short that uh, for every people we uh, never stop to learn. Yeah. Yeah. So what's about you, Mister? Yeah, I think uh, we have two sources here. Uh, we have the value of Islam. Okay, in Islam, we know that we have to learn along our youth until the end. Okay, and until the end. Until the yeah, and also the United Nations. Also, this is life. Uh, lifelong learning is one of the goal, and that is uh, why we have to motivate uh, students. Uh, that uh, learning is not elementary school, it's not senior high school, or it's not a uh, bachelor degree, not only master, not only doctor. Uh, that is the formal education, but how we study, how we learn is for long life. Okay. I don't know, uh, in your mind, in our students' minds, uh, do you have any, um, let's say, motivation that you have to learn along your life for the rest of your life yeah do you think so yeah, okay. yeah I, I think so mm. uh, I have to learn in all of my life mm. because I have to be a benefited person for other persons therefore I have to acknowledge my life yeah because uh, you know ladies and gentlemen uh, there are many scholarships uh, whether you are in master degree, doctoral degree, uh, professorship, uh, postdoctoral uh, program, mm -hmm. and so on. So that's uh, you have to learn uh, whenever you are and what kind of study. Uh, probably you are studying English, but next uh, next uh, two or three years you need some fields that you want to learn. That many scholarship. You can apply uh, probably if you are interested in ICT, uh, you can uh, get scholarship in ICT. Uh, that is your life. Just uh, probably uh, in this English culture, you have to be motivated and you have to reach your goal. Not only a bachelor degree, master degree, doctoral degree. You have to reach your goal, whatever your goal, whatever your fields, your interest, uh, your hobby. Okay, let's go. Thank you.
vacation no days However, after the pandemic different uh, focus of research mm. so, in SITES model 1 in 98 this is focus on extensive use of ICT uh, to representative sample of teacher and school mm. and then ICT support pedagogical properties uh, considered important in information society and for SITES model 2 99 the use of computer relay technology mm. and the last SITES 2006 uh, there is uh, something different in the fact of pedagogical practice so uh, we we can see that different level mm. yeah from uh, time to time what's about you yeah um we will be back to our title this is about uh how to uh, satisfy students yes yeah for uh west culture i think uh, they uh they are serious in how to satisfy the students uh when you ask me when we discuss about uh, my service uh, when i have to get in the train in Tangerang in malang i uh, remember that that is, that is how, because I get uh, the uh, learning environment from the West and I have in my brain that I have to satisfy uh, the student. I don't know whether you are the teachers, you have to service the student, how many students in one class, uh, 30 or 40 students, but that is the main goal. Uh, if we know the Islamic values that we have to serve, the student, like in our culture, uh, Kiai culture, uh, the whatever uh, the student is, whether they cannot read, they are uh, not uh, good people, they accept. Yeah. Because uh, the Kiai have to accept the student. We have to satisfy that the student will get uh, the goal. And I have to uh, document you that this is our uh, goal as the teachers, as the lecturers. Uh, whether this is different, uh, Siti Sarida, Hafiz. In our culture, the teachers or the lecturers must be honored. And probably uh, for me, this is uh, uh, too rigid uh, to have that. I think this is East culture, that, that is natural. But we as the teacher have to have also uh, the service excellent to the students. Mm. Yeah. What, what do you think, Hafiz? Hafiz? Do you have any experience while being a teacher and uh, serving the students? I have a little bit. Little. Uh, I have a little bit because uh, I have uh, what? 
little experience when I teach uh, the what the small the uh, small boy a uh, small uh, what mm, yes yeah, small boy in reading the Quran saying okay. Quran mm. even without the paying mm. I I serve them okay that's good Yeah. So that uh, you make uh, your children satisfied with your service. <laughs> <laughs> Insha'Allah. Okay. Insha'Allah. Insha'Allah. So uh, in Islamic teaching, so we we know that about the statement that we have to uh, do asan to other. Mm. Asan means that a good service to other. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, so we jump to the next slide. European Commission 2002. Because this is uh, from Europe, the international mm. organization from Europe. So uh, the European Union should have opportunity to acquire key skills. Mm. Maybe there is three: digital literacy, highest order skills such as teamwork, problem solving, project management. So maybe, uh, what do you think about this? Well, um, digital literacy, we have discussed it in the second podcast uh, with uh, our partners. And then HOTS, we know HOTS in teaching, uh, lecturing, higher the uh, skill, teamwork, problem solving, project management. Uh, as today, uh, this is our project. We have the host and co-host. We have cameraman. We have storyboards. We have... Um, Uh, internet so uh, this is project management so I think uh, when you studied so uh, more than your bachelor degree you have to try for our Zilena era about project management you have to invite your students uh, to place the position as cameraman storyboard or making pictures making canvas slides uh, you can invite the student hmm. I think hmm. uh... This European Commission, similar to UNESCO program, so mm-hmm. that the education have uh, the four uh, the four pillar. It is yeah. learning to learning to know, mm-hmm. learning to do, learning to be, and learning to mm-hmm. live together. Right. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next slide. The teacher themselves as the main initi- uh, initiator of teaching and learning in the pedagogical practice. Mm-hmm. As we know, uh, uh, even though uh, we have uh, what's that ICT, mm. yeah, but actually uh, the teacher is a planner. Yeah. And maybe for now, facilitator. Facilitator. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so what's yeah. about you? Yeah, that's right. The teacher is not only initiator, but also facilitator, and also motivator and mm. educator. Watching, <laughs> 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 don't forget once more again to click, subscribe, share, and like. Okay. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa